Okay, uh, welcome guys. Uh, this is Mr. The Visitor once again. And uh, I think this time we are going to look at least slicing. So there are just a few things that I think we can learn from this. And uh, there will be cases, of course, where uh, you might need to use this. So what is a list slicing? Now, list slicing allows you to extract a portion of a list. So uh, what it does, it takes in two parameters, uh, the starting index and how many elements must be sliced. So it returns a new list containing the extracted portion. So... Uh, let us try to look into that so we can just go to the main in here and we can have a list uh, let's make it a list of type string and I can just call this list uh, a list of animals and uh, this is equals to a new list of uh, string and I am going to populate this list with some values. So the first one will be a cat. And uh, the second one will be a dog. Sorry. Uh, it will be a dog. And uh, the third one will be a fish. Sorry will be a fish and then we will have a turtle I forget these uh, inverted commas there and then let us have another one which will be a, a parrot okay uh, that is fine I forget them I don't know why Okay, suppose this is what we have uh, inside of our list. Let me just close up the list that we have. And uh, we can just stand in here. Nothing is wrong. Everything is fine. Okay. So they say there are some potential fixes. Let us try to look into that. So this is... Uh, the simplified version of this so i can just say list of type string give it a name and is equals to new and then this is also totally fine let's just stand in here there are also some potential fixes that we can have there let's try to see that so this is uh what we have is there any simplification that we can have no okay that is fine so one thing that I want to do just when I am uh, inside of this list that I have just created. Let me now go and declare a list which is now a sliced list. Because remember what we said. We said now it returns a new list containing the extracted portion. So we are going to extract from this list. And then it will return a, a sliced list that we need to store inside of a variable. So it is going to return a list. So we are declaring a list. Remember the list that will be returned. It is a string because we are extracting, we are extracting from a string. And I'm going to call this a sliced animals. So I'm going to say they are sliced animals okay and uh, this is equals uh, to new sliced uh, list and then what I'm going to do in there what I'm going to do there I'm going to say okay I have a list of type string which I call sliced animals okay let me just add an S there just to say these are sliced animals and then what i'm going to do there i am going to say animals you see we are having a problem there so i will need to use an underscore will this be appropriate 
so i'm going to use that and then i'm going to use the dot there and i'm having a problem with that and why am i having a problem it's because of the simplification that i have made in there this is uh the simplification that i have made in there so they can say okay let's see this how do we access that uh we are having a problem with that so uh let's go back to our normal way of doing things let's just say a list uh of type string and we call that uh the list that we had was a list of animals and was equals to a new list why am i going back there because now when i'm here i am facing some problems because i need to use the name of uh, the list and now use the dot and then when i use the dot there is a method there that says get range and if we hover over here it creates a shallow copy of a range of elements in the source list of type string and it returns a shallow copy of a range of elements in the source exactly what we said we said now uh, it returns a new list containing the extracted portion so what are the arguments that it accepts first of all it is very important that we note that it takes an int index and it takes in an int count but let us try to check how that works so i want the extraction to start from position one i know the elements which are objects inside of my list are stored at zero one two three and four so start from dog and then i'm going to say from dog in other words i am saying inside of this list that i have start from here extract from index one until the index three because remember we have one zero one two three four remember that this is what we have so it will start at one and end at three so this will be one two three so it will only extract that portion of the string and then what will it do it will store them inside a new list which we call a sliced list very very important that we we understand that it is highly and highly important so suppose i want to output this new list that i have just created the portion that i have just extracted the sliced animals that i now have so what i'm going to do is just to go to the uh, okay i can just use uh, wc the as for uh, sorry cw console dot right line and then from there what i can do and this is very important when i print out these animals i don't just want to have them let me show you what i'm trying to say here i can come here and say sliced animals but when i do it in this way i will have to specify uh, exactly what is it that i want because if i just do this you see a uh, sliced animal is not null here so if you want to output the sliced animals remember these are objects inside here let's just see what you will find from there i think nicola tonight has actually gone through the front door um, for whatever reason has decided to sit room. so let's just wait for it to load up a little bit you see system.collections.generic.list so this is not how you do it so if you want to output the values that are inside there uh, you can use a for each loop because it's a little bit more faster so we can say a var and then it will infer the type the var will infer the type so i can just use that so i have var which i call animal in my sliced animals and then what is it that i want to do there i just want to have a print out there 
of what of all the animals that are found inside of my list of sliced animals and it will have them one after the other in that order and they will be uh, printed out there so this is what i have i have dog fish and turtle so this is not something new this is something that we know but let me show you something here uh, if i print them like this uh, I, I'm just saying this. Uh, what else can I do in there? Okay, I can use, I can try and use interpolation. So let me show you how I can do this. Oh, the mouse. Okay. So uh, let me just check whether Camtasia is still doing the work. Very good. So I can use interpolation in here. And I can do this and I can do that plus and I can do this okay so what is it that we are doing in here so I'm just saying print that out and then uh, with interpolation because we are trying to separate this with something might give us some problems so let's use uh, concave so let me just say uh, animals all right plus uh, some space in there so it will print them oh I can do this uh, I can separate them by a comma there I can just separate these uh, sliced animals using just a comma there and there we have it but there is a much more better way of doing this. There is honestly a better way of doing that. So what I can do in order to print out the sliced animals, I can forget a for each loop. And what I can do there is that I can have a right line. Okay, CW, that is fine. And what I can do there, I can say string dot and there are many methods that we can use there we can reference equal and many things that you can see which you can go through but the method that i want is join and what does this method do now let me just uh, stand in here so as you can see there string dot join a character separator and it accepts a params object so a parameter sorry uh, a params object so you don't necessarily have to specify how many objects they are it sorry uh, it returns a string that consists of the elements of values delimited by a separator character minus or that and so on so what i want to do when i am there I want to separate my elements using a comma there and then after that now you pass in the array that you have which we called the sliced animals so this is exactly what I will pass there so when you say console dot right line and then you say string dot join first of all it accepts a delimiter which is just a string character that separates the element that you have inside of your sliced uh, animal uh, list so it will just print them one after the other so I don't want to use a right line here what I want to use the uh, okay that's fine we can use a right line just to check how the elements will be printed out so let us just try to verify that and I want you to look at something here. Console dot right line string dot join. And as you see there, the elements are printed in such a way as if you have a console dot right. It's like you have a right here. So the sliced animals will be printed in that order, not in uh, an order uh, any, uh, dog, fish and turtle. No. It will say dog, fish, and turtle. So what it does, 
the string dot join it prints your sliced animals in one line separated by a character comma or whatever that you want to have in there so it is very important that we we see that and you see what it also does it runs through inside of your sliced array and then it prints those elements based on the uh, get range that you have set there and these sliced uh, objects that you have are stored inside of a new list and they are of type string because they are extracted from a string itself so it is very important that we we try very much to understand that uh, to understand that so uh, that is that okay let us continue with something else let me just take here and may all right so i just hope that you have understood that so we can go to something else once again just to see how this get range works and we can declare uh, another list so we can also have another list which will also be of type string and i will call this list a list of colors and this is equals to a new list of string and what i can do there i can just populate my list very very important so what is it that i want to have inside there so let me just have the colors which are of type string so let me just have a uh, red and let me also have uh, a color sorry i forget these uh, inverted commas uh, let me just also have green and let me have blue sorry uh, let me have blue and is there any other color that i want yes let me just have gray oh jesus let me have uh, gray and uh, let's have purple oh i i forget this guys i don't know why but i seem to forget this a lot and let's just have the last color which is white so uh these are the colors that i have uh, so we just lack orange here in order to complete uh the roig beef uh, there are some a uh, few colors because one two three four five six there's just one that is missing there okay so this is the list that i have which is of type string and it only uh, i call this colors and then this is uh, a list of strings you can never add a number here or anything you can't do this you 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 can't do that because it is a list of strings so if you try to do that this will be a compile time error so that you can fix it okay but that is fine so what i want to do i want to slice these colors so i want to come here create a new list let me just copy that and let me just paste so i'm going to use a string dot join but this time things are going to be a little bit more different so i'm going to come here and what i'm going to do in there uh let me just do this very quickly okay guys uh, let us continue with our work so let me just check very quickly where we were so uh we were in here so we had our output let me just show you very quickly so okay uh sorry we just need to pass in something very new here 
so what we had here is colors so one thing that we have not yet done we have not yet specified the extraction and we have not yet created space in order to store that so what i'm going to do is to come and create a list i know that it will return a list of uh, strings because the colors are of type of string and uh, let me call that the slice the colors so we have sliced the colors and i'm going to say this is equals to uh, the colors and then when you use the dot there so we can have a method to get range and what is it that we know we know that we have to specify uh from the beginning so this time we are starting from zero so meaning we are starting with red and then secondly i'm going to say colors dot and i want a a a, a property there which we call count so count will have a value uh one two three four five six so count has a number six because we have six objects inside of our list of colors there. So I'm going to say colors dot uh, count and then I'm going to use uh, the minus there. I'm going to use uh, the minus there and then what is it that i want to minus i want to minus two of them so what will that do when i minus two what it will do colors dot count minus two it has counted that there are one two three four five six colors so when you say minus two at the end of your array it will minus the very last two objects that is what it will do and then when that has been uh, done i can now print out the sliced colors and i am separating them using a delimiter this is just a a, a character that will separate these uh, colors that i will print out so i will start from red green blue and gray and then i have excluded purple and white so it will print those colors and then remember it will print them on one line uh, of code so let me just get rid of this one very important let me just get rid of that one so let us just try to run and see exactly what we will have there so there we have it we have uh we we have red green blue and gray so purple and white have been excluded from uh, the list so it is very important that we we understand that very very important so on the very same uh colors what i can do i can get range and what i can do this time from the very same thing i can do the following i can say okay uh where should we start so i want to start at colors dot count minus three sorry uh minus three comma and then three of them so what am i saying then Remember, this is the index where it has to start at. So I know count is 6 minus 3. I now have three uh, elements. But remember what this will do because it is minus. It is going to minus 3 of the colors that you have in there. So which colors are those? I want you to check that. So you have colors that count minus 3 which simply means let's come here remember int index where it should begin and this is the count right so in here my int is colors dot count minus three 
So what is it that I'm doing there? I am subtracting three in here when I say colors dot count minus three. So I'm saying start at, uh, in other words, I'm saying start at uh, gray. Let me do this. So I'm saying start at gray and then count or extract three of them going to that side. Because remember, this is the starting point. Colors dot count minus three. So you have six. So minus three of them. I minus red, I minus green and blue. Now it will start at gray. It's this. It will do this. So it will start at gray. From gray, how many do I want to extract? Three of them. So one, two, three. Very important. This is where it starts. It starts at colors dot count minus three. So from this list, start at position three. In your count, there are six of them. I don't want you to start at position zero. I want you to start at position three. So what I could have also done there. What I could have also done there. I okay, let, let's just print this and, and just show you what I'm trying to do there. Right, look what we have. We have gray, purple, and white. And remember how this works. It is at position 0, position 1, position 2, position 3. So this is where I'm saying it should start. At 0, 1, 2, 3. Start at position 3. Count minus 3. There's a six start at three zero one two three. It will start at three. Print how many or extract three of them. So it will extract one, two, three. Then you will have gray, purple, and white. Print it out there. I can have the same thing using a different way. I can come here. Instead of say colors dot color uh, minus three, I can specify uh, four here. And what does this four mean? If you stand here, this is the starting index. Start at element in position four. It will say zero, one, two, three, four. Here we are. Okay. And then from there, when I say 4, comma 3, what is it that is going to happen in here? Let us check. Okay, we are having a problem there. And why are we having this exception? Right. I am having this exception because I am using, look what I am doing. Look what I'm doing here. Start at 4, look 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. There it is. And then how many do I want to extract? Three of them. So it will have 1, 2. There is no element in there. There is no element in there to extract. So if, for example, I say uh, orange, there then it will be able to do that start at position four zero one two three four here we are we are starting here and then print only three or extract three so it will extract one two three and then it will print purple white and orange if i add that orange manually as you have seen there so let us try to check whether that will be true so there we have it purple white and orange so if i want to have the same output if i want to have the same output as colors dot count minus three if i want to have the same output let me show you this 
if I want to have the same colors in here, what I need to do is to go to colors, not slice the colors. Very important. So in here, what I can do in there, I can say, okay, I don't want to go to, I can go to colors, how many of them? One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I want to have the same output, so what I can do there is just to say, okay, that is fine. Uh, I have them as I have them there. So what I will do, I will say colors dot get range. And what I can do there is to add another element as we have so. Then I can replace all this with 4,3. So, if you do it in this way, you say start at element, uh, at object 4, and extract 3 of them going to the right, you're going to have problems, because we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, it will start here, it will have 1, 2. There is no third element to be able to be ex extracted, therefore, you will have an error. So, it is very, very important that we... We try to understand that. Okay, that is fine. I think I, I, I took a long time trying to explain that. So one thing that I can also do there, uh, I can remove. I can remove a few uh, elements inside there. So I can go, for example, and say colors dot, and I can use the remove method. And then uh, the remove I can I can remove for example if you do this and then you stand in here look what it does it accepts a string item so I can uh, remove one item for example I can remove uh, white this is uh, what I can do I can remove white and then I can try to print out whatever the elements they are and you will find out that uh, white has been removed so let's just use f for each loop for that uh, var u in uh, colors and what i can do there i can just have a, a right line and then what I can do is just to say, okay, uh, let me say colors, sorry, uh, U plus, and then I'm just going to separate them with a comma there, that's fine. So let us just check whether uh, the remove has been successful. We can, we can just try to check that. We can just try to check that. Okay, uh, we are having a problem there. So, uh, what causes the problem? All right, uh, let me just get rid of this. Let me just get rid of that. And then we can rerun our code. And then we can have our colors there. And as you can see, we have red, green, blue, uh, gray, and uh, purple. And the last color, which is white, has been removed. So, okay, that is fine. And I can also remove a range. What I can do is to come here. And what I can do there is to say uh, colors dot remove range and uh, the range method you specify where you want to start and you specify uh, the int count so what I can do there I can say start at 2 and then comma and what I can say is that uh, remove uh, so remember it will start from 2 uh, remember we have uh, red, green, blue, gray, purple and white so what it will do it will remove 
uh, a certain items inside there so what it will honestly do uh, it will remove starting from uh, 0 1 2 this is where we are standing so what it will it do there it will remove just the three of them so it will remove blue gray and purple so we will have red green and white so start at element index 2 so you have 0 1 2 start from blue and then from blue what it will do it will start from there and then it will only print out three of them so this will be one two three so those are the ones that it will remove it will remove blue starting from blue at index position two and then it will remove how many elements should be removed three of them so blue gray and purple will be removed and then you are only left with the red green and white and then i don't i'm not going to use a for each loop to loop around that i'm going to use uh, the following so what i'm going to say there is to say string because i saw it's a much faster way of doing things string dot join and then i'm going to pass in a delim and then i'm going to pass in the colors that i have and then i'm going to run this and check whether the remove method has been oh there's a problem i did not close that all right i have closed Ish. what is happening i'm trying to close this shift close very good so when we try to run that uh, what is it that we will have we have red green and white so this is exactly what we said we said starting from index 2 0 1 2 from blue which is one remove how many elements three of them so it will remove one two three and then you are only left with red green and white so these are just some of the things uh, that we can do there so i don't have to use a for each loop in order to loop through and print you can use a string the join and then you just separate with a delimiter and then you just do that okay that is fine uh, there will be of course invalid cases as you know if you try to get range of something that is not even there for example uh, we can come here and say remove i know it will start from blue i can say remove one two three four and i know it will just work out fine i will just have uh, red and green let's just print that out i will just have red and green printed out for us and then uh, invalid numbers would be for example five because it is outside the bounds of the array but we have looked at exceptions you know exactly how to catch the exceptions so this will throw an exception and i've taught you very well in the lectures of papa fanzo go and look at exception handling there's a quite number of exceptions that we dealt with thoroughly we have been dealing with exceptions so uh, thank you guys for uh, tuning in uh, please like share and subscribe and i will see you in the next tutorial